Hey besties and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Hi Gigi. In today's video my dog wants to be with us so she's with us. She's like mommy why is it so bright? But in today's video we are going to be doing a Sephora haul. Now you guys the fact that I have bought six lipsticks that all retail for like over $20 honestly sickens me. Like I have a real problem. Gigi knows it. I know it. Kayla knows it. Everyone knows it. But yeah, besties, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, just like the last video I did, I have two separate orders. And oh no, you're going to have to go. <laughs> Say bye, Gigi. Say bye. So the first thing I decided to pick up besties was the Turn Up The Base BBB Cream, so Beauty Blur Balm from One Size Beauty. Now I really love the packaging, I love how it's like shiny on the bottom, red, I love, 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 love the packaging. It's very similar to the CoverGirl Skin Milk, if you guys have seen that one, it looks just like this, similar, very similar. This is a little bit thicker. I really, really do enjoy this product, I actually have a review up on my channel of this product and this is $33 which to me isn't bad because it is like a beauty balm though it's not like a foundation because it does have 18 shades but it's more like a I want to say like a skin tint but with like more coverage of course so I will tell you guys the reason I picked it up was because they said it was going to transform your skin's texture. So if you guys want to see if it did that, definitely check out that video up on my channel. But what I will say is that it gives you a really, really healthy look to the skin, which I really did love and appreciate. So for that reason, I really like it. The only thing that kind of throws me off about this product you know, it's so funny because I sound hypocritical because I just said I really love the packaging. But at the same time, I dislike the packaging because you guys see how the foundation is like smeared on the front there. It's because the way that you open the foundation to get product out is you definitely apply pressure right here and it pops up and then it squeezes out. So because of that, you can see that it definitely does get a little bit messy. It gets a little bit messy on the top as well up there, but you guys probably can't tell anymore because I just smeared my finger on it. But yeah. Yeah, that is an issue other than that though honestly I've had no issues with it and I think it's like interesting it's fun to do it's fun to snap it but it's just like kind of like I hope that if I'm ever in a rush I don't make a big messy mistake because I could definitely see myself doing that you guys so because of that you know it's just like uh, but I actually love the product inside and again if you guys want to see the review it's up and I will say that I do enjoy this product so here is where the lipsticks come into play, besties. I had to pick this up. This is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream. And oh my gosh, you guys. First of all, look at the packaging. I feel like this looks like makeup that a makeup artist would create. Very sophisticated, very, very like luxe packaging. I love this. Now this was $24, which for one, you guys... I know that's a lot, but you guys, I really, really do love this. I'll tell you, I've been wearing this specific shade, which is called um, Pinky Brown, for how many hours? Like a couple hours, you guys. I ate once and then reapplied a little bit, but I really didn't need to. And I still think it looks really, really beautiful on top of the lips. I love how it makes my lips feel. I love that it doesn't dry them out throughout the day and that it doesn't wear really, really bad at the end of the day either. Like I feel like if I didn't reapply, I'd be okay. But I just prefer to. There is pomegranate seed oil, I believe, in here, which is really great for nourishing your lips as well. And let me go ahead and show you guys what the applicator looks like. So it's really, really good for helping you to, you know, line your lips and apply to the point where you really don't need a lip liner, but you could definitely go in with one as well. But I just really, really enjoy this. I love the packaging. It's so sleek. It's so sexy. And I just feel like it really, really does great things for my lips. And for that reason, I had to get this. And I also got three shades besties so I'm actually gonna go ahead and swatch them for you so that you guys can see 
I have the shade Pinky Brown, which is the one I just showed you guys. Also, I love that on the actual packaging itself, like you can kind of tell which color you're getting, which is great. So you don't have to like, you know, look, especially because he said he's coming out with more shades. Once there's like 10 shades, if you have all 10 shades, if you're like me, then, you know, I mean, that will be a little bit easier for you. Oh, and I just love how moussey it's like a whipped moussey texture and I really really love this on the lips and on the skin do you guys see that so pretty I feel like that's going to be your guys's like favorite color then we have the shade mocha latte and again with the color being on the outer packaging Ooh, and I love that he came out with nudes first so then we're going to go in with the last shade, which is called Nude Suede. And I believe on his website, Nude Suede is actually sold out right now, but it wasn't on Sephora when I checked. And that is what all of them look like, besties. Honestly, I am so happy to have all three. And there is a video reviewing these up on my channel as well if you guys do want to see that. But I feel like I told you a good amount of what I said in that video. But if you want to check it out on the lips, you can see all of the shades, you know, swiped on the lips. Definitely, definitely, definitely check that out. I told myself I was going to stop doing that. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But I can't help it, you guys. It's just like it just flows out. Then, you guys, I got three other lip products. These were $25 each, so you guys, definitely not, like, cheap with the lipsticks in this video. Like I said earlier, Natasha Denona came out with the new collection that I Need a Rose, and she came out with three bullet lipsticks, three lip glosses, and three, what is it, lip liners, and I really wanted to get that full collection. Like, I really, really, really did, but... I was like, mm, do I want to just get that and then only do one video on that or do I want to get the Mario lip creams, the BB cream, and the Natasha and then have three videos to share with you guys. And I was like, that sounds like the best option to do. So I decided to pick up three of the lipsticks, the I Need a Rose lipsticks. Now I know that she also has the I Need a Nude line. Which, you guys, I want to get my hands on those lipsticks so bad, but I just, I hadn't gotten around to it. And then this is new, and I really wanted to do a video on it. So this is the outer packaging. This is the only thing that still has outer packaging on it, because I actually haven't done a review yet on these lipsticks. I'm not going to swatch these because of the fact that I haven't done the review yet. So I want it to be, like, really, really authentic when I do go ahead and I eventually do swatch and then put this on the lips, too. But you guys, this is what the packaging freaking looks like. And oh my gosh, like to me, this is stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very, very high end. Very bougie, very classy. This is classy. I really like this. And then you roll her out and this is what the lipstick looks like. So pretty. This is like the perfect pinky nude if you've ever seen one. And what is the name of this one? It's in the shade Daphne, and I'm really, 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 really excited about this one. I mean, look at the packaging, you guys. This is really freaking pretty. I know some people would literally just buy this because of how it looks, but I also love that you see the ND engraved up in there, too, which I think is so beautiful. So, yeah, let me show you guys the other colors I picked up, but oh my gosh, I love rose gold. I love pink. This is like the perfect packaging in my opinion. Then we have the shade Kala, which actually has a different color. That's interesting. So here is Kala and here is Daphne. Oh, I like Daphne more, but this one is really, really pretty as well. Very, very beautiful. And then you open it up and ooh. So this one is Daphne and this one is Kala. You guys can tell that Kala is definitely more of like a brownie nude, whereas Daphne is more of a pinky nude, hence the packaging. That's probably why they did that. But oh my gosh, this is so freaking pretty. Look at me. I'm just playing with them. I need to be stopped. I need to be stopped. The fact that I wish they came out with more so I could have bought more tells me that I have an issue, right? Right. 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 Then we have this shade right here, which is in like a hot pinky package. Ooh. Okay. And this one is called... 
Peony. I just um, reviewed the Milani Flora lipsticks and those ones were so beautiful as well. A lot of pinky, reddy, really beautiful, bright uh, tones in there. And one of the names of the lipsticks are Peony. So that's so interesting that this one is also called Peony. Let's actually look and see what the difference is between those two lipsticks. So I have them. I have the one from Natasha Nona. This is their peony, as we just saw it. And this is the one from Milani, their peony. These are both really, really beautiful. Wow. I feel like obviously the Milani one is a little bit more like deep, a little darker. This one from Natasha Nona is a little bit more like nude, a little bit more like lighter. But nonetheless, they're both really beautiful. Ooh, I wonder if they have like similar texture. I don't think so. I don't think they have similar textures. But that'd be cool though, right? If it was like a dupe, that'd be really, really fun. But wow, that was my whole video, you guys. I think it's so, so funny because literally, like literally what 90% of this video was lipsticks. I do have a problem, but you guys, I, I promise you, like I always say, I also get this stuff to review and to share with you guys. So at the end of the day, while this stuff is making me really, really excited, I've literally had this. I kid you not for three days straight maybe like longer like three or four days and I have yet to even touch it swatch it, or anything even though I really really want to play with it I know I have to wait till I do a video because that's what I told myself I was going to do and I, that's also what I think I told you guys I was going to do in my will I buy it kind of purchaser pass video so yeah besties I love you guys so much I hope you enjoyed this video we only had like what like seven products but at the same time a lot of them were lipsticks so I feel like it went by so super fast because a lot of it was like the same thing so really it was like a lipstick haul at the end of the day but I love you guys so much I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's probably a little bit shorter but this was fun for me to share with you guys it's always so fun I love you and I'll see you in the next one besties bye